Ah, here with the cherry blossoms. Beautiful. Full bloom here in Brooklyn. Searching for truth today with the cherry blossoms. Beautiful. I come here and he pet the cherry blossoms. No smell. Ah, you can breathe. I like that. Hello, cherry blossom. Talk to the trees. That was a beautiful tree, right? There's six of them here in the park. I'll go visit each one of them. Ah, but this is the time of year. You get right up into the tree and you enjoy it. So beautiful, huh? Look at this. It's full bloom. It's like a bouquet of flowers. So I want to just keep pushing with the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed. I'm one person with you all commenting. It's the only news I read now is what you read. So there's a link down below. I was watching Mike Pence go out in front of the uh, cameras today. <clears throat> and basically the, the unemployment number came out. I did a video this morning on the unemployment numbers. Right? I gave you the real number. The real number is probably about, I don't know, 25% of the country is unemployed. Well, you don't have to believe it, but it's probably true. They stopped looking for work, right? And um, so live from the White House with Mike Pence on Fox News, right? He said that the unemployment rate, he touted a 3.6 <laughs> unemployment rate in America, right? Now, it's, again, it's patently false. There's about 102 million people in America that don't have health insurance. Sorry, <laughs> that are unemployed. I got mixed up. Uh, so 102 million people in America don't have a job, unemployed. Right. Are we a communist country? It occurs to me, are we, are, we, are, we, are we George Orwell's characters in 1984, the authoritarian, we live in an authoritarian dictatorship? And we just can't call it because look, no, in history, there's no two, there's no two dictatorships the same. There's no two socialisms the same, right? It's just, it's interpreted for the time, right? Time goes on and that society will reinterpret it. It's like calling, it's like using the slur socialism today. That everything of, like I'm in a socialist park right now. There's a socialist park. That's a socialist bridge. <laughs> socialist roads. Oh, you want you don't want you don't want social you don't want social programs and you don't get a park. You don't get beautiful trees and and, and beautiful park. Right? You have to make your own tree in your own park. Separatist park. Right? So are we George Orwell's are we really the animals on the farm? Living in an in a, in authoritarian kind of place? I, I think we are. I think we are. But I, I, I want to, I want to, I, I encourage you to watch Pence's rant uh, today. Watch it and you'll see him bash Ilhan Omar on Venezuela. Truth tellers, right? So there's this, under a guy like, a guy like Trump is stay on message. That's the way you win. Right? That's what Trump's all about. Now, when you watch Pence, what's Pence's motivation to lie and say that Venezuela is, we had nothing to do with it. We have nothing to do with it. We're just trying to help. And that the unemployment rate is 3.6 and not 25%. What's his motive? He wants to keep his job, yo. Trump will say you're fired. You're fired. Right? That's what he doesn't want to hear. So he's motivated. He's, he's motivated by fear. And everybody below him, all the way down to the guy, you know, this guy's raking the leaves over there. 
are motivated, motivated by fear. And I guess statistically, three out of four people in America are willing to accept authoritarian dictatorship. Because you don't want to be in that, that, that 25% that doesn't have a job, because then you'll be living, you know, you'll be living in a tent somewhere. Right? So again, Pence, you'll, see him, you'll hear him use words like, robust economy. We have a robust economy, he said. It's a great day for every American. The stock market is soaring. Woo! Stock market, that's the economy? Right? 401k, how many people have those? Not many. And even if you do, it's highly subject to manipulation. Right? So, and you see Pence, most of all, the most destructive part of it is stay on message with Venezuela. Stay on message. Right? So he bashed uh, Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar said the U.S. is partially responsible for the state of Venezuela today. Yeah. Because you have this tyrant that lives next to you and threatens all your friends and your family. Threatens your people with isolationism. Force feed you the dollar and tell you how much you could charge for your oil and how you're supposed to live your life. Right? That's authoritarianism. But we have this, this incredible new twist. You see the Hillary Clinton now. Uh, they blamed Russia for two and a half years for their cheating and their corruption. And that's been normalized now. Nobody disputes that. Right? Russia did it. Still trying to fight it out, right? Starting to see some, some buds on the ground. That's an indication that the season is, it's almost over. I've been watching them all year. They're beautiful. They really are. So, 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 so Pence, when you see it, you're going to hear him say, socialism over freedom. He calls Maduro a socialist dictator. He says that nine out of 10 people in Venezuela are living in poverty. What about America? Nine out of 10 people are living in, in object poverty. If they stop moving, yeah, they have, again, we have material objects. We have a smartphone and we have, you know, stuff. But essentially we live in an object, we live in abject poverty. Paycheck to paycheck. So why is it any different? Why is, why is what Venezuela has uh, subject to American imperialism and the homelessness problem, say, in San Francisco or here, or here in New York, is not subject to U.S. imperialism? Why are the homeless people and the veterans ignored and we have an interest in Venezuela. Well, it's easy. It's economics. It's get that oil. Control the oil. They can't have, again, that's the truth, right? Squeeze them. The evidence is in the paper trail, and the money trail. Steve Mnuchin, they locked, you know, Secretary of Treasury, they locked down Venezuela's money flow, PDVSA. So, um, dictatorship... So it's still the socialism smear, right? The idea is to use the word socialism, pair it to the Cold War, Cold War Russia communism, and make the two the same. So when you hear socialism, you don't think of a social park or a social program like healthcare. You think of, you're supposed to think of 1940s Russia imperialist tyranny and there was a degree of authoritarianism and tyranny in Russia 
and it ultimately failed. But Venezuela is very different. Venezuela is a nation of democratic elections, uh, socialist programs like free oil, free gas, travel around free, uh, live off the land. Is that a disgrace? Is it a disgrace? Are they oppressed people? Is it a disgrace to to be able to live off the land and enjoy the trees? Be one with nature? Or does everything have to be a a money grab? Uh, what is the truth? You know? That's why I do this. I think I know the truth, but I often think, well, that's my truth. Is it your truth? Is there a universal truth, I guess? Yeah, there are universal truths. Every year, the cherry blossoms bloom. Evidence is in nature, the clouds. Every few days, it rains. And every year, from out of nowhere, that spring up from the ground, this energy is released in the form of a beautiful tree. That's a truth. Inescapable truth, right? But humans are different. We have a different truth. The truth is um, the truth of, I guess, obedience, of... Might is right. I don't see the cherry blossoms fighting. (laughs) Arguing. Those are the tulips. This is white tree too. This is white tree. I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty, I guess they're cherry blossoms too. They're all the way up there. Separatists. Here's the tulips. Ah, say hello to the tulips. We're tulips, goddammit. And we love you. We love you. The tulips love you. The tulips love each other. I saw a squirrel eating a tulip the other day. That was pretty cool. (laughs) I don't know where... Oh, there's there's a squirrel. He was eating, he ate the whole tulip. Truth in nature is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And you watch that Pence video and it makes you, it disturbs you because it's just connect the lies. That that's what we've become. That's what we view as successful. Repeat the same lie over and over again until it's factual. Until people believe it, until it, it takes root. I don't know. I don't. I think there's a better way. I don't want to live like that. I think you know. I, I think we're in a place where we're forced to, unless we can collectively stand up. Now the other side of that is, get a grip, Conti. You're emotional. You're, you're, you're a socialist. You want free stuff. You want life to be easy. Life is tough. Life is tough. Get tough, Conti. Get tough. (laughs) Toughen up. (laughs) Is that what it's all about? I ain't tough enough. To want some sort of balance. To see my fellow Americans my fellow creatures on the planet share in the, in the prosperity of this mysterious earth that we live on, that we share this planet. We're walking this planet and we don't even, we think that one day we're just gonna be dead, you know? Underground. One day we're dead and we're underground. Right? You sit on that deathbed and you say to yourself, You don't say, oh, I wish I would have worked more. I wish I would have made more money. You say to yourself, I wish I would have... I would have connected more with nature. 
I would have been kinder. I would have been more. I, I wish I would have been more charitable. I wish I would have taken better care of myself and others. Right? I guess that's the meaning of life, is what I'm trying to say. These guys are cool too. Sometimes you just miss the. Look at this. Beautiful greens and greens and yellows. And all along you can hear the. I don't know if you could hear it, but you could hear humanity racing by on the bridge. Gotta get to work. Gotta get where I gotta go. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So, Marcus Conti reporting. I hope I'm here next year. Every year it's the same show. I love this show. I spend time in the trees. Amongst the flowers here in Brooklyn. Marcus Conti reporting.